Hi y'all, I'm Catherine. I love to talk about Saint Makeup, but not just limited to Saint Makeup. I love to talk about all things makeup actually, but my favorite foundation by far is Saint. And if you have stumbled across this video, then maybe you're just, you've heard about it and you're scrolling and you wanna find out more. Maybe you are one of my customers or clients and I asked you to watch this video. Either way, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I wanna do just the basics. I don't know if you can tell. I don't normally do videos like this, so this is out of my norm. But this makeup is different. If you've used it or if you're thinking about using it and you've seen videos, you might have noticed. It's a little different than just slapping on a liquid foundation. So. I want to just go step by step. I'm not gonna do any fancy color correcting. This is just the simple makeup. I do have a palette 12. That means 12 regular size tins can fit in here. That is more than a full face. I actually, on my second layer, have some eyeshadows that I won't be messing with in this video. But on this first layer, I have my entire face sans setting powder so the way i like to teach my customers that are at first starting out is to just start with your contour which my two favorite brushes are the blush bronzer brush and detail brush these are my two favorite brushes if you can get two brushes then i do recommend you get these two you can do more than you need to and then some. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the detail brush. I love this brush because it has the sharper edge and your contour. See these two, I they do look a little similar. Bronzer is a warmer tone and contour is the cooler tone, dark shade. So I am going to just wiggle my brush in. Remember, these are creams. I didn't say that. So Saint is a cream foundation system. Our contours are stiffer. If you get yours in the mail, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a stiffer consistency because it's formulated like that for a reason. I'm not a scientist, but your contour is meant to not be blended out all the way. So you want it to stay in place. Where I like to contour, I go above at the top of my ear. I feel for my cheekbone. We've all got one. Some of us can see there's more than others. You're going to just find your cheekbone and kind of hook or hug it. And then I like to stamp. I don't like to swipe too much. I like to stamp and go towards the bottom of my nose. And you might have to wiggle it again. And if it doesn't look beautiful or perfect, that's okay. I have more discoloration on this side of my face, but since I'm not doing any color correction, then... I'm just not going to worry about that. I like a medium coverage, top of the ear, find the cheekbone, like, and go under it towards the bottom of my nose or even like corner of my mouth, like so. And then I purposely kind of tried to not have bangs today. I'm going to do up along my hairline, like so. And I like to stay away from my temples because I can already tell my temples in this area, I'm losing volume. I'm about to be 43 in June. And I can just already tell, and where you put your contour is gonna recede, and I don't want it to recede anymore. I think this is called, like makeup artists call this a uh, peanut head. <laughs> when it's like the forehead is bigger and it kind of indents and goes back out. Well, I'm beginning to have a peanut head. And then along the jaw, I feel like your contour for your jaw is just most for yourself, to be honest. Um, I've never just walked around and saw somebody's jaw contour and said, wow, what a great jaw contour. You know what I mean? Um, I've noticed cheek contour, but never jaw. I almost, I've been um, with Saint for about two and a half years 
And at this point, I almost contour this area just out of muscle memory, just because I'm in the habit of doing it. And I just blend this down. And I'll, I'll just go ahead and blend this down right away because I'm bad about forgetting. And if you do have any extra area right here, you just bring that back. Just like that. Um, I'm not a big nose contour person, but for the purpose of the video, I just take this straight edge and I do, I have a major bump right here. It's even like red. It's never not red, never not noticeable. And I just do two lines parallel to one another. I want to be able to have a little space in between for another color. And then I'll try to make it look like there's a little button nose, but like I said, I don't really get into the nose contour much. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that there. Some people will go under their lip. And look, you also have this end. All of Saint brushes are double-ended. You can just kind of have fun. This makes your bottom lip a little poutier if you'd like that. Okay, so that's just simple contour, just like that. And remember, it's all optional. I mean, makeup is optional, <laughs> so, but if you are trying to learn more about it, you just do what you're comfortable with. Um, okay, so we've got contour, and I probably should have stated this, but I tend to talk too much, so I'm trying to talk as I go. When you get color matched by me or your artist, you're automatically color matched to a contour, a brightening highlight, and a main highlight. Next, I'm gonna go in with my brightening highlight. This is probably most what you're familiar with concealer. Now, I might be the minority here, but I do not love a super bright under eye area. You have to be careful with putting too bright or light of a color underneath your eyes because the brightness brings forward, brings attention to, and you can cause too much texture to be visible if you have too bright of a color. And if you have really dark under eyes, you might not wanna even put any light color under your eyes and only go in with this color we're gonna talk about shortly. So I don't wanna get ahead of myself. At this point, this is what I do down the center of my nose. Can y'all tell I've never really done this before? <laughs> Talk about the video. Um, and then we'll go down and I like to put that there. So it's kind of, it's known as the T-zone. Some people, I have really a lot of lines in my forehead. I want to get Botox so bad, but I haven't. Um, so I don't put too much up here because like I said earlier, I don't want to draw too much attention to the lines. Okay, so next I'm going to switch up my brush now. I'm going to use, this is my blush bronzer brush. I really like to apply my main highlight. This is what's most like your skin tone or your foundation color. I like to apply it with this end. So you may have heard before, we're saint artists are kind of a broken record talking about if you the most common mistake is using too much i am like i'm tapping into it pretty hard i don't want you to be scared of the makeup because you're scared of using too much but i also want you to love your makeup so i don't want you to use too much so just tap into it don't swipe don't swoop just tap and i like to stipple and I'm just gonna stipple this product wherever I don't have anything, any other product. And just stipple, you know, I had some on my chin. So I'll even just like kind of, I'll go over it. No big deal. If you feel like you lost brightness where you wanted it, you can go back in. And I'm blending as I go with this color. Blending as I go. The other colors, the contour and the brightener, I am letting warm up to my skin. 
Some people will say when they get their makeup, they feel like their creams are stiff. Um, it kind of depends on the climate. Um, it depends. There's some different factors that go into that. But you know what I'm realizing is if these were super creamy, do you see how small these are? This has, this is going to last you. If it's not lasting you two to three, maybe even four months for this main color that you'll use most of, then it means you're using too much. So that should tell you with how small this is, it lasts in you for that many months, you're not meant to use much of it. So if you're putting so much on your face and you can't get it to blend, it just means you're trying to put too much on. So just be careful with that. Be, you know, aware of that. You should not feel sticky or tacky. This makeup is beautiful and luminous and skin-like. That's my favorite description is skin-like. So that is true. But once your makeup is done, if you are feeling sticky or wet, you have just used too much. And try again tomorrow. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> there's a there's a trick I'll show you at the towards the end. Okay, so I have put my main shade on. Now I like to personally go in. Oh, you know what? I'll do my um that main shade that I just put on. We'll put on my eyelids too. I forgot about my eyelids. Let's cancel those babies out. So I'm just gonna blend with my finger. I love to blend with my finger around my eyes. I just feel like the warmth of my skin. I'm all about body warmth. I just think it helps your makeup so much. You can take the small end of that detail brush and get in those little nooks and crannies. And again, I haven't touched the contour. Okay. Now, you may have not gotten a bronzer. This is the bronzer. You may have just gotten a blush color, but I, at this point, use my bronzer. So if you did get bronzer, this is personal preference. I've seen artists do it differently, but this is how I like to do it. I will go in with this fluffy end of the blush bronzer brush and try to get my, it can be hard with this brush because it is a bigger brush. So, you know, just do the best you can. And I try to get product on as e and even out on, um, what am I trying to say? Just as evenly on the bristles as I can. But this color doesn't have coverage. The first three colors, your brightener, your main highlight, and your contour all have coverage. So this is sheer. So what I'll do is place it down. And as I'm placing it, I will blend up and sort of blend my contour at the same time. When you are blending your contour, you want to always, here, I'll use a smaller one so you can see better. Blend up, okay? Because you don't wanna drag your face down. The contour is trying to add dimension and cheekbone and the higher up, the better. If you feel like you went, like this side, I feel like I went too low. So there's a little way to fix that up and I'll show you. So there's still bronzer on here and I'm gonna just blend out this contour with my bronzer. If you're like me and you have blonde hair, just be careful with, you know, you might get a little makeup in your hair. That'll come with practice. And this makeup, there's definitely a learning curve. I mean, there's about a zillion ways that you can apply it. None of them are right or wrong. You might have seen the polka dot method, or I think they call it the cheetah hack online. I actually, that's my least way, least favorite way to apply it. Um, but it works out great for some people. I just personally don't love it. And you will find your perfect way to apply this too. I will also go down my neck. I like to put my makeup down my neck just to make sure everything's cohesive. I even put some on my ears. Just, you know, make sure my ears are the same color. So, let's see. I'm going to look up close to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I still haven't blended my nose. So, what I do at this point, do you have a damp 
beauty sponge. If you don't have a beauty sponge, I highly recommend you go out and grab one. There is one on the Saint site. I personally just buy a pack, um, the Paw Paw brand. It's P-A-W, P-A-W. You get like a pack of five, I think for $9.99. I, they're just nice and squishy and then when they're dry they're just they're a good density to where I can still blend something if I need to have you ever just forgotten to get it wet and you don't feel like getting back up it's not the end of the world so just blend my phone is kind of far away from me I'm just recording on my phone so I'm having to look in this little mirror I don't have like a great setup. So see, I do not like how my nose looks. I'm just not a fan. I just don't love the nose contour. That's just something that I need to practice at. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with back at my detail brush, I've got the small end. I'm gonna go back in with my main shade. That's what's fun about makeup. And especially with these creams, they're all the same medium. So you can just kind of you can go back in if you need to. Right now, I've only got one layer of makeup on, which is nice. And honestly, I wouldn't mind just leaving the house like this, but I mean, will add. I will add a lip and cheek color. That's my actually my favorite part. And I used to hate blush. Okay, so I'm just going to, again, I'm just tapping in. When you have the product on your brush, it should not feel goopy, creamy. It should still feel somewhat dry. Okay. And if you are looking at your under eyes and you feel like either your lines are enhanced or if you feel like you didn't get the coverage, instead of going in more with this bright color, go back in with your main color this is what I'm saying. You might use, you'll probably use mostly your main color. That's why when you are ready to repurchase, that's all you'll have to repurchase. You just get online and get your main color, 16 bucks, and you can just pop that into your palette. You just buy everything as needed a la carte. So we're just going to stamp that in just because I wanted a little more coverage. Okay, so instead of the nose contour that I just decided to take away, what I will do is take a little bit of bronzer and even just with this fluffy brush, I'll just kind of warm up the sides of my nose. Not the whole nose or anything. I just kind of, you know, I don't want my nose to just blend in with my face, you know? Okay, so we will just leave this here now. <laughs> All right, so next is the lip and cheek. This can be used on your lips and your cheeks. I like this color. This is called Frenchie. I love this color for so many people. Um, once you get a little tan, it, you can't see it as much. I just picked some up and I know they can look really intimidated and, pigment, and pigmented at, in the tin. I just like to start at the back of my cheekbone and work my way forward. And if I feel like you can just flip your brush around and just shear that out. I know some people say you shouldn't have, um, putting, shouldn't put blush on the apples of your cheeks, but I love to. I just think it looks so youthful. Then you can take, some people like to dot it on like so, and then blend it out. You just find your find your favorite way and in the same way, just do like so. I've seen some people put it on their nose. I don't even do that. <laughs> Next is cream illuminator. If you ordered a cream illuminator, here's where I like to put it. Cheekbone. And then go up here. Some like to put it on their cupid's bow. I don't like to look too shiny or sweaty here. <laughs> and then not saying everybody looks sweaty when they wear their cream illuminator, but I mostly like it on my uh, tops of my cheeks. And then I'll kind of bring it 
just down the top of the bridge of my nose and then maybe a little on the tip. And that's it for me. Earlier I said we'll be fixing up this side especially. I just feel like I went a little low. So what I do is I will take my main shade and this detail brush. I'll use this in, this in, it just personal preference really. And what I'll do is use it as a magic eraser and just clean it up a little bit. And you are putting a little more product on your face, but the next step will help with that. This step is so fun. <laughs> All right, so I still have a contour. It's just slightly cleaned up. If you feel like you got contour or too much bronzer too close to your mouth, you'll just clean that up too. Like over here, I possibly got a little too far in. So we'll just, I'm taking my main shade like a eraser and cleaning that up. Easy peasy. Okay, the damp sponge. So we are gonna go in and press. This is gonna remove excess product. This will also press the makeup in your skin. You want your makeup and your skin to become one. I just think it's the most beautiful finish, even under your eye. And then remember, we put a little extra product down here when we were trying to clean it up. So if you did get a little too much, it'll just, Pick up that excess. Okay, then I will loosely, you can, you can take your contour or bronzer, whichever one, and I just loosely kind of lip line. Nothing extravagant. Kind of create because you know we lose our lip line as we are aging then second layer i am going to go into the second layer because i have a second lip and cheek i love to match people to a satin lip and cheek which was frenchy this was the satin and then this is royal and it's a gloss and i love the glosses for my lips so i will just place that on here so i'll just so I love Royal on the lips. All right, we're gonna set with powder. If you don't like powder, then don't worry about this step. But if you feel that you need some extra assurance, then powder. I want, I would like a smaller brush. I'm trying to just use these two brushes. We do have smaller, fluffier brushes that you could use to put powder on. But I just lightly powder only where needed. I do not powder my under eyes. I'm a face toucher, so I do set down here. And then I'm gonna take a, this smaller brush where I always put powder is right here. My pores are more pronounced right here. So I just always put powder there, it mattifies it and blurs your pores, you know, makes them look a little less visible. So remember when you get done with your makeup or while you're doing your makeup, stand back, look at yourself from a distance because that's the most realistic way that you look to people because people aren't up in your face looking at you all day. You know, there's a good amount of space between you and, you know, sometimes you just need to see the bigger picture to know that it looks good. You know, sometimes when we're looking at ourselves too closely, if we're really nitpicking ourselves apart. You know what I mean? If you haven't gotten a color match yet and you're interested in getting a color match, I will link that form below and I would love to help you. If you have any questions, comment down below. I keep forgetting I'm gonna put this on YouTube. So like and subscribe, that sounds so funny to me. But um, yeah, I would love your support and just hang out, see where this goes. I would love to give tips and tricks if you have gotten into Saint Makeup. I know it's a fun makeup system and there 
is some troubleshooting involved sometimes for some people. So let's hang out. Y'all have a great day. Bye.